Hi, my name is Joan Hughes and this is ECDL Word Processing Module 3 Assignment 1-10 to Support Video. The first question that we're required to do is to open the Word Processing application. So down the bottom left hand corner of our screen I'm going to click the start button once. I'm going to up to all programs and I'm going to click once. I'm going to locate my Microsoft Office folder and click once and then down to Word and click once. This will open the Microsoft Word application. So the next thing that I need to do is open a document named The Ocean. So I'm going to go to the file ribbon and in this backstage view I'm going to go to open. Now the support files are located in an M3 folder on the desktop. So in the left screen I'm going to choose desktop. And in the right hand side, I'm going to scroll down until I see my M3 folder and I'm going to click twice. These are the documents that are located in that folder. And I'm going down to the ocean and I'm going to click once and open. Now that this document is displayed on screen, I need to save, copy of, save this document to make a copy. So I'm going up to the file ribbon. And in backstage view, I'm going to click save as. And here's our file name here. So I'm just need to remove dot doc, put in a space and the number one and click save. And now just across the top of our title bar, you can see that this has been saved as the ocean one. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom the document down to 80%. So down the bottom right hand corner, you can see the zoom out and the zoom in button. Now if I click either one of these ones, it goes up or down by 10%. So I'm going to bring it down to 80%. The next thing that I need to do is to select all of the text in the document and change the font. Now I can do this by clicking and dragging over. And then I go up in the font section of this home ribbon. I'm going to the font. I'm going to click once. I'm going to come down to Times New Roman and you can see that the text font has been changed. Now I'm going to justify the text but excluding the heading which is not including the heading. So I'm going to highlight the two paragraphs and as you can see on the right hand side of the text it's not straight as the left hand side is. So I'm going up to the paragraph section of the ribbon and the fourth alignment button is justifying. If I click it once you can now see that the right hand side of the text is straight like the left hand side. Now I need to center the heading. So to do this, I need to select the text, go back up to that paragraph section in the alignment buttons, and I'm going to click the center button. While I have the heading highlighted, I also need to change the font size of the heading. So in the font section of the ribbon, I'm going up to font size, and I'm going to come down to 18, and I'm going to change that. Now I need to change the color of the heading to blue. So I'm going up to the font section, the font color, click the down arrow, choose the color I wish to use by clicking once. And this has changed the heading to a color blue. Now I need to copy the first sentence. Now, sometimes it can be difficult to get exactly one sentence highlighted like this. So instead, I'm going to hold my control key on my keyboard I'm going to click once in the sentence and it highlights just that sentence. Now I need to make a copy of this sentence. So in the clipboard section of the home ribbon, I'm going to click copy once. And I want to paste a copy at the end of the document below the last paragraph. So I'm going to click at the end of the paragraph, press my return key twice. And then I'm going to click the paste button on the clipboard section of the home ribbon. And you can see now a copy of that text has been placed at the end of the document. Now I'm going to save all the changes I made. So I'm going to select the file ribbon and backstage view. I'm just going to click the save button. Now I want to close it. So once again, the file ribbon, backstage view and close. And now what you will notice is that you are left with just the Microsoft Word screen open. Good luck.